Hey everybody, Charles Calhoun, AKA The Shade Tree Pro. You know, I've uh, been nursing a little bit of an injury, you know, a freakish little injury that, like I said, I've had it for months and I finally got some other things done to it, you know, had to step it up a little bit, you know, to get rid of this pain that I had in, in you know, in my lower, uh, lower back. And it's just not golf related, just, you know, that's why you need to get a lot of money and hire people to do stuff or uh, the work around your house. Me, I'm uh, getting old, man. It can suck sometimes, especially for these bones. But anyway, I'm gonna do something different today here. I, I, I mean, I did it before. I did like a Ben Hogan lesson, but you know, I've been getting comments, you know, because everybody know I hit a wedge really nice. But I was gonna do this one. This is gonna be based on how would I teach? How, if Roy came to me, what would I tell Roy to do to teach him uh, to hit a better wedge? And the same thing I tell him is exactly the same thing I would tell you all. And that's it, a where to focus. Now you all already know my top down philosophy. And here's one of those things that really get my top down philosophy going. See, when I get the club up to the top, you know I pull, I pull down, there's no question. But what I'm pulling down, you know I'm bringing the scapula down. I already talked about that in, uh, in several videos. But also what I'm doing is I'm bringing what I call it, you know, the fat meat. So this fat meat underneath your arm, when I'm making a swing, I'm bringing the fat meat down. See, and as I bring the fat meat down, what that does, it matches up with everything with the golf club. And what I mean by it matches up with the golf club is this. For all y'all hitting it off the hosel out there, see if I'm bringing this fat meat down underneath, See, even when I'm doing my roll in the shaft, I'm bringing the fat meat down on this side of the golf club. Because what does that do? When I bring that fat meat down on this side of the golf club, guess what happens? For the shaft side, the hosel comes towards me. And if it comes towards me, then it's not going out towards the ball. I have found out in my own research when I do it more from the top of the arm, then what happens is the club wants to go out. It's interesting how that happens. But I want the arm to come back to my body. And guess what? It should make a lot of sense because if this fat meat, as I call it, and I'm thinking of the fat meat up here, and I'm thinking, like I say, the fat meat underneath that arm, it's got to come back towards the body. There's no question about that. That's why I say, you know, you don't lock it in here. You know, you bring it back to the body. So if I was teaching Roy, the only thing I would do with Roy's golf, with, with his chipping, I mean, excuse me, his wedge game, is show him how to move from the fat meat. Because a lot of times when we turn our hips, we actually think that we're, when we lock it up here, now we've activated the top side of our arm because now we don't have no feeling of this being pulled down towards our side. Once we lock it in here, now we've activated the lateral side, uh, yes, the lateral sides of the uh, epicondyles is what they're called in the upper arm. And now all of a sudden it leads to the pulls and all sorts of things. So all I would do, is plain and simple, is have him pull the fat beats down. And it's no different than you because it don't make no difference whether you're a world-class athlete or not. Up is still the same, down is still the same, and back up is still the same. The same muscles that pull his arm down underneath here is the same ones that pull yours. So sit there, get it right, and pull the fat meat down. And I swear, people, I wouldn't do no more than that, but just sit there and I pull the fat meat down. Now I'm gonna move the camera around and I'm gonna give you an angle from the backside so you can see it here. Okay, now I'm back. Once again, people, the fat meat. Pull that fat meat down. Now, if I said that to my wife, she'd lose her mind. Them, those bird wings. Pull that fat meat down. You already know, scapula, what is the scapula doing? It's pulling the fat meat down, which, like I said, which is a representation, if this was your arm, this side of the club, the bottom side of the club, on that, this part would be the fat meat. So just pull it down. So the hosel can come away from you and not towards the ball and just hit a good shot. And that's, believe it or not, 
exactly the same thing that I would teach and the same exact thing that I teach my tour player, same exact thing, doesn't matter. Just bring that fat meat down. And watch your wedge game improve. Charles Calhoun, AKA the Shade Tree Pro, bring that fat meat down. And always good golfing.